welcome to lecture 11 uh, in this lecture we study taylor formula for several variable real valued functions so topics of uh, this lecture uh, are following so topics so first we uh, recall the taylor formula for uh, real valued uh, single variable functions so before that we give some definitions definitions then taylor formula for real valued single variable functions so for f from r to r then uh, generalization to f from r into r so several variable real valued functions okay so let us start with uh, the following definitions A function f uh, defined on open interval a comma b to r is k times k times differentiable means means uh, all the uh, derivatives of order less or equal to k exist on uh, the open interval a comma b that is this is the first derivative f prime f double prime this is second derivative and so on up to f superscript inside bracket k so this exist on the open interval a comma b okay and uh, we note we note uh, if f is k times differentiable then the ith derivative of f these are also continuous on open interval a comma b for all i equal to 1 and so on up to k minus 1 it is not necessary that the kth derivative so if kth derivative exists it does not imply that kth derivative is also continuous so i would um, i can ask uh, as an exercise so find uh, if an example of a uh, function which is k times differentiable but its uh, kth derivative is not continuous okay okay so uh, second definition a function f from a comma b to r so this is open interval a comma b to r is called ck function ck or ck function if 
all the per, uh, all the derivatives of order up to k exist and continuous if so that is if uh, all of the derivatives f this is first derivative of f f double prime this is second derivative of f and and so on this is the kth derivative of f exist and are continuous are continuous on the domain a comma b so k derivative is also continuous so here we have extra condition okay now uh, we are ready to uh, state uh, taylor formula for uh, functions f from r to r okay so so this is page one so next page page two this is the theorem theorem one this is taylor formula it says that let uh, f uh, be a function be a function okay having nth derivative everywhere having nth derivative every where in some open interval a comma b and the n minus one th derivative is continuous on closed interval a comma b assume c belongs to the open interval a comma b okay let us draw a picture so this is closed interval a comma b and c is be c belongs to open interval a b so c is inside so suppose c is here okay now <clears throat> then for every x not equal to c belongs to closed interval a comma b so x is uh, uh, not equal to c so x may be uh, here okay or mm, so this is c or maybe x may be here okay so x not equal to c so this is a this is b okay so if x is greater than c then uh, this picture holds true and if x is less than c then this picture holds true okay so for every x belong not equal to c belongs to closed interval a comma b there exist x1 in the interior of the interval with end points x and c then there exist x1 in the interior of the open interval with 
endpoints at x and c so that is in the first picture x1 is somewhere here and in the second picture in case in the second picture x1 is somewhere here so okay so x1 x1 is in the interior of the interval with endpoints at x and c such that f of x equal to f of c plus summation f kth derivative at c over k factorial this is summation over k equal to 1 to n minus 1 okay and here we have some you know, uh, term x minus c power k okay and plus some remainder <coughs> f nth derivative okay at the point x1 over n factorial times x minus c power power n okay so this is a uh, taylor formula for uh, single variable function so we prove this uh, theorem proof <coughs> now suppose c belongs to uh, open interval a b okay and and x belongs to the closed interval a comma b minus the point c and and i denotes the interval with endpoints at x and c that is in the first picture this is i and in the second picture this is i with i is interval with uh, endpoints c and x and here x and c i is interval with x and c okay <coughs> So here i equal to c comma x and here i equal to x comma c that depends whether x is less than c or x1 is less than uh, x is less than c or x is greater than c okay uh, now now let us uh, define a function by following this is equal to f of hmm, so here the uh, <coughs> argument is t so f of x minus f of f of uh, t minus f prime of t times x minus t okay minus f double prime of t times x minus t square over 2 factorial and so on uh, and this is minus and so on uh, minus f uh, uh, power n minus 1 at derivative uh, of t over n minus 1 factorial times x minus t power n minus 1 okay so let us consider uh, this function okay so we want to show that f of c so f of c we want to show that f of c uh, is equal to so 
so we have to show f of uh, mm, f of c is equal to uh, this quantity uh, f power n so nth derivative of f x1 over uh, factorial n times x minus c power n for some x1 belongs to interior of the interval i okay so this is uh, what uh, we have to show let us uh, take the derivative of the function uh, f of t so next page is page 3 f prime of t so this is equal to okay let us write first the first we write f of t uh, this is equal to f of x minus f of t minus f prime of t x minus t over uh, over 1 factorial minus f double prime of t x minus t over 2 factorial here we have a square minus and so on minus f n minus 1 uh, 1 at derivative at t over n minus 1 factorial times x minus t power n minus 1 okay so this is the function now we uh, take the derivative of uh, f with respect to t this is equal to so x is uh, fixed so this is 0 so minus f prime so it has derivative as 0 so f uh, t has derivative f prime t minus so here we have uh, used the product rule so minus derivative of x minus t that is equal to minus 1 so we have plus sign here a prime of t and minus f double prime of t times uh, x minus t over 1 factorial minus so first we take the derivative of this component so this component has derivative uh, <coughs> so f double prime t as it is uh, and derivative of this is 2 times x minus t times minus 1 and 2 will, will cancel out uh, uh, with the denominator 2 factorial so it will be 1 factorial and here it is <coughs> x minus t times minus 1 that will uh, be here plus 1 minus and so on so the uh, last two terms are uh, plus f n minus 1 at derivative x minus t power n minus 2 over n minus 2 factorial and this term is uh, minus mm, minus f nth derivative at uh, t x minus t power n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial okay so all the terms will be cancelled out except the uh, uh, last term so this is equal to minus f nth derivative at t over n minus 1 factorial times x minus t power n minus 1 okay so this is the derivative so let us so, so label it as equation number one 
so f prime of t so this is equation number one now uh, we we uh, define another function we define another function by g of t equal to f of t minus x minus t power n x minus c power n times f of c then <coughs> then then this is on on the interval i okay so g <coughs> of c this is equal to f of c minus x minus c power n x minus c power n f of c and this is equal to zero and g of um, x this is equal to f of x and f of x equal to zero so this is from here so as t equal to uh, x so this terms are uh, so zero and f of x minus f of x this is also zero so f of x equal to zero this is also zero so <coughs> at the on the so at the end point of the interval closed interval i so mm, the function g uh, mm, vanishes and uh, on the interior of i g is differentiable so we apply Rolle's theorem Rolle's theorem on g gives there exists some x1 in the interior of the interval i such that g prime of x1 this is equal to 0 and what is g prime x1 so g prime x1 uh, equal to f prime x1 minus so here uh, derivative with respect to t so this is so uh, we have to do the derivative of this term with respect to t so that is uh, n times x minus t power n minus 1 uh, n minus 1 um, and times minus 1 so minus 1 it will be plus at uh, so this is at x1 so t is equal to x1 so t equal to x1 put uh, x1 uh, uh, so <coughs> and denominator is x minus c power n and this is f of c this is equal to 0 okay so let us go to the next page page number four and <clears throat> this gives and this gives uh, so what is f prime of x1 so f prime of x1 is equal to f uh, n so this so here we are using equation one so this is so we have a minus sign here uh, n minus 1 factorial uh, x minus x1 over so power n minus 1 and plus n times x minus x1 power n minus 
1 over x minus c power n times f of c and this is equal to 0 and this implies f of c equal to f nth derivative at x1 over n factorial okay times x minus c power n so this is what we uh, wanted to show okay so this is is what we wanted to show so now we have some more definition if uh, the function uh, if the function f is k times differentiable k times differentiable on the open interval a comma b and c is a point in the open interval a comma b it's its kth order kth order Taylor polynomial about C is given by So the polynomial is uh, denoted by p sub k comma c so polynomial in x so this is equal to the summation f i at c okay i factorial times x minus c power i summation over i equal to 0 to 0 to k okay and uh, explicitly this is equal to f of c plus f prime of c uh, over 1 factorial plus f double derivative of f at c so here we have one term missed. so i have missed x minus c plus f double derivative at c 